Hey, are you ready to change your life? If the answer is yes, there's only one rule. You have to change your mind first. And my friend, there's a place where the neuroscience of how your mind works smashes together with faith and everything starts to make sense. That place is called self-brain surgery. You can learn it and it will help you become healthier, feel better, and be happier. And the good news is you can start today. Thanks, Lisa. Hey, so glad to have you listening today. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and I live in Nebraska in the United States of America with my incredible wife, Lisa, my father-in-law, Tata, and the super pups, Harvey and Lewis. I'm a neurosurgeon and an author, and I'm here to help you harness neuroscience, the power of your brain, faith, the power of your spirit, and good old common sense to help you lead a healthier, better, happier life. Listen, friend, you can't change your life until you change your mind, and I'm here to help you learn the art of self-brain surgery to get it done if you like the show. Please subscribe so you never miss an episode and tell your friends about it. If you tell two or three friends this podcast was helpful to you, imagine how much good we can all do around the world together. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and I'm here to help you change your mind so you can change your life. Let's get after it. Good morning, my friend. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. Looking forward to a beautiful day here on the river, and we are just excited about another day that the Lord has made. But I have been up for two hours, and it's been one of those days where I feel like somebody is trying to keep me from getting to you (laughs) the message that I was trying to bring to you today. I got up, and I was going to create an episode uh, based on another self-brain surgery episode. It was a tip that I did uh, back in July, July 25th, on Twitter, self-brain surgery tip number three, and it's about anxiety and depression. Well, when I first got up this morning, I got on my computer, I got this pop-up message that my hard drive was full. I needed to manage my space. And so I started deleting files, and it's amazing how much junk you accumulate in your computer over time. And then my hard drive crashed, and it had to do this big reboot and up, update and all kinds of stuff, and basically had to reinstall my recording software. And so for the last two hours, over two hours, I've been sort of teetering back and forth between wondering if my computer was getting ready to fail whether I was going to be able to recover all my data and all that stuff, which created a tremendous amount of anxiety in me, which I know is silly. But I just, I realized like I'm I'm trying to get you a message about anxiety and depression and something's happening to prevent me from doing that. And it's creating anxiety in me, which is sort of ironic, right? Anyway, got it all squared away, I think. It just kind of points out, you know, do some maintenance on your computer once in a while, just like your life and your brain. Like some of the best uh, treatment is prevention. So, you know, if you haven't cleaned out your cache or emptied space on your hard drive in a while, get that done. Because when it gets too full, things don't work very well. Sort of like your brain, right? That's a whole episode unto itself. But it's been one of those mornings. So pray for me. I think I got the cobwebs cleaned out of the old hard drive. And we should be good to go. Now here's self-brain surgery tip number three. Having a problem with a brain chemical like dopamine is no more of a spiritual issue than having a problem with a pancreatic hormone like insulin is. One causes depression. One causes diabetes. But we don't help people to have faith to fix their diabetes. Now listen to me again. Let me read that again. Having a problem with a brain chemical like dopamine is no more of a spiritual issue than having a problem with a pancreatic hormone like insulin is. One causes depression, one causes diabetes. We don't tell people to have more faith to fix their diabetes. Now what I mean by that is not that you shouldn't have faith. You should. You you must. But when we have medical issues, somebody breaks their femur, for example, Somebody, you know, breaks their arm. Somebody has a tumor on their lung. We don't tell them, generally, not unless you're crazy, we don't generally say, you know, if you just had more faith, you wouldn't have broke your leg. Or if you just pray, you don't need to set that bone. You don't need to put a pin in that hip. You don't need a new knee. You just need to pray more. We don't typically do that. We understand that God has created science and created doctors and, and advanced medicine and given people good ideas and helped us to, to advance our health care by using the application of the wisdom and intelligence he's given us to discover new things and develop new technologies and all that. And for some reason, Christians don't seem to have a problem, most of us, like I said, except the crazy ones on the fringe, most of us don't have a problem getting a filling or replacing a tooth or setting a broken bone or removing a tumor or using radiation or chemotherapy, any of those things. We, we understand that those things are necessary and helpful and God-given. But for some reason... When people have depression or anxiety or PTSD or overwhelm or stress, we treat those mental issues 
like they're not medical issues. And we tell people and shame people and make people believe that the, that the problem with their mental health is a spiritual one. Well, that could be sometimes. It could be that you're just overcome by fear and you're not letting God handle things for you. And there's times, sure, when you need to pray and meditate, all that stuff that I talk about all the time, self-brain surgery and using scripture to pre-arm you for the, and to recall those things to mind when you're in harmful situations or stressful situations or you're having flashbacks or you're dealing with difficulties. All those things, are, it's true. Like prayer and meditation, all that scripture is super valuable and it's one of the powerful tools the most powerful tool that God has given us to deal with that. But there are times where your chemical environment of your brain isn't right from injury, from stress, from sleeplessness, from assault or abuse or or troubles from the past. There's times concussions. I see it all the time in high school athletes. The fact is the chemicals that your brain makes, dopamine, serotonin, etc., create the mood and affect that create the personality that you're used to having and when those chemicals are not in the proper balance you're not who you're supposed to be and just like sometimes you need extra insulin because your pancreas isn't working and nobody thinks that's a faith problem sometimes you need medication or therapy or some sort of help on the medical side to get that brain chemistry balance back there's nothing wrong with you spiritually if you have a medical problem that is affecting your brain chemistry. And so don't feel shame. Don't let anybody make you feel shame or feel like there's something wrong with you spiritually if you need medical help for your mental state, friend. And so that was the whole point of this self-brain surgery episode. Don't misunderstand the fact that your brain chemistry is just as medical as your pancreas chemistry is, as the chemical environment of your thyroid gland is. Your brain chemistry is every bit as medical, and therefore when you need to medically management manage it, it is every bit as much of a medical problem as any other thing going on in the rest of your body below your collarbone. The church doesn't get to own the space between your collarbone and the top of your head. Yes, there are faith issues. Yes, there are times when scripture and prayer and meditation are enough. But there are also times when Jesus, your Savior and the great physician would say, Hey, you might need a little therapy, sister. You might need a little Prozac, brother. Because I created those things to help you when you're having trouble. And I would just suggest that our kind, gentle Savior is a good, good father, and he's also a great physician. And he created the plants and the chemicals and the chemists and the biochemists and the smart people who could discover how to manage the chemicals in your brain, just like we have with the chemicals in your pancreas or your thyroid or other parts of your body. So don't beat yourself up if you need some help. And if you're struggling... If self-brain surgery isn't doing it for you, if you just can't get your thoughts in order, if you just can't get your mood right, go see a doctor. It might save your life. And you might also teach the people around you and show them that it's okay to use all the tools that God gave us and all the excellent, wise people and ideas and chemicals and medicines that he created and gave us the ability to discover for his glory and his image. Because medicine includes the space above your collarbone. And self-brain surgery says don't beat yourself up when there's a hormonal issue, a chemical issue above your collarbone, just like the ones below your collarbone. I love you. I want you to be better. I want things to be well for you. Don't give up. Don't beat yourself up. Here's a song from North Point Worship called Anchor of Peace. It'll leave you with a peaceful feeling today. God bless you, friend. We'll see you soon. There's a way back home for the wandering soul. There's a peaceful calm for the restless one. And if you're so far gone, you can't see the shore. But just lift your eyes and look to the Lord.
Hey, thanks for listening. Please subscribe to the show so you automatically get every episode. And if you like the show, you'll love my weekly letter. Check out my writing at drleewarren.substack.com, drleewarren.substack.com. Get the free newsletter every week for my best prescriptions for becoming healthier, feeling better, and being happier through the power of faith and neuroscience smashing together via self-brain surgery, drleewarren.substack.com. And if you need prayer, go to the prayer wall at wleewarrenmd.com slash prayer. The theme music for the show is Make Us One by Tommy Walker, graciously provided for free by the great folks over at tommywalkerministries.org. Check it out and consider supporting them, tommywalkerministries.org. Remember, you can't change your life until you change your mind. And the good news is you can start today. I'm Dr. Lee Warren. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, friend. Have a great day.